Hi guys! Renate here from Crafty Renate. Welcome back to my channel. I have another Make It Monday video for you. In summer, I really love to tie-dye outside because it can be messy and it's just fun to do in the backyard. You have colorful and sunny results, so it's perfect for summer. So today I'm going to show you the simplest, easiest way to tie-dye. And this is great to do with children also. It's just, it's always, you always get a good result no matter what you do. You can't really mess up, so that's very important. and. It's just really fun to do. <laughs> so let's get on to the tutorial. You're gonna need a piece of clothing that's made out of cotton, linen or denim. I'm gonna dye a nightdress or t-shirt dress. You'll also need a plastic container, a few squeeze bottles, hand wash dye powders, I like to use Dylon, some warm water, vinegar, a sealable bag, scissors if you still need to open your baggies, rubber gloves, a funnel, tablespoons and some rubber bands. Turn the plastic container upside down and put your piece of clothing onto it. Make sure it's damp and if it's new, wash it first. Scrunch it up and place a few rubber bands over it to keep it all together. Now it's time to prepare your dyes. Place the funnel into a squeeze bottle and put your first color of dye into it. My squeeze bottles are 100 milliliters, so according to the instructions on my dyes, that means I'll need about one tablespoon of dye per bottle. Fill the rest of your bottle with warm water and shake. Do the same thing for your other dyes. I'm using Dylon Sunflower Yellow burlesque red and poppy red. Even though the instructions tell you to add salt, I never do because I soak the clothing in vinegar after dyeing and I've never had any issues with the colors fading or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Once you've prepared your dyes, put your rubber gloves on, turn your container over and place your clothing into it. Now it's time to add some color. Just squirt your dyes onto your clothes any way you want to. Keep in mind that colors that come in contact with each other will mix, so red and yellow will turn into orange, etc. When you're done, place your clothing into the sealable bag, seal it and leave it overnight. Now it's time to rinse. Fill your container with cold water, place your clothing into it and squeeze out the excess dye. 
Throw the colored water away and fill your container with cold water again, but this time add some vinegar. You can now take the rubber bands off and put your shirt or other clothing into the water vinegar mixture. You can already take a peek to see what it looks like, but soak it for at least an hour. Then wash your clothes on a short program for delicate laundry and hang to dry. Or if you're very impatient and you have a dryer, of course you could also throw it in the dryer. Once it's dry, it's ready for you to wear and show off. For more inspiration and more techniques, be sure to also check out my other tie-dye videos and I have an entire playlist of DIYs which have all sorts of fun projects for you to do. So be sure to check that out also to find more things to do in summer and all year round basically. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!